We are the United Nations International School, a place that embraces diversity with over a, a hundred countries represented in our families and over 90 languages spoken by our students. You walk into our school in this wonderful neighborhood and you get a sense that, like anyone's home, it's a special place, a place you want to come to. What I like about this school is everything. You can make a lot of friends here. The class sizes, they're small. You get to know like your friends really well. There's less people and you feel like you can maybe be less shy. The parents love the fact that their students like to come to school because they are accepted for who they are. I think when I come to pick them up, they, can, they want to stay. School is not a very exciting place for a lot of children, but for my daughter, I found this to be a very exciting place. They learn a lot about respect, so I think like that's very important when you live in this world that is so polarized, like to know about, to respect each other. I have never seen a school that is as intrinsically culturally diverse as this school. They live diversity in this school. Kids sit next to kids from every country in the world, and as, as a result, uh, they are a living representation of diversity. We don't have to learn diversity because, because like, we do see it all around us. And someone tells you about a place that they visited or a place that they lived, um, you want to go there and you want to experience what they experienced. Language is critical. Here at Unit Queens, we start teaching the language in kindergarten. They have the choice in kindergarten to start with French or Spanish. If they pick Spanish in kindergarten, they will pick up French in seventh grade. I speak English, Chinese, and a little bit of Spanish. Spanish, you can use it in a lot of different places. By the end of eighth grade, is when you see them blooming. So when they graduate, they will speak two other languages besides English, and they will be fluent in French, Spanish, and of course English. We want them to appreciate art. We want them to not just create, because not all of us are great artists in terms of creating, but we want them to appreciate art, but also to be able to create in whatever way art makes sense for them. Well, we get to delve into world music and we take a really deep dive into world music. It's not just the superficial uh, song. Music is cultural. There's a, there's a large cultural component in music and we want them to understand and appreciate music from lots of different places. But we have teaching artists who come in and teach instruments. They're top New York musicians and amazing second to none teachers. We want them to understand absolutely technology. From teaching them the basics of coding. Coding is programming. At a junior level, really gives them a lot of avenues to become uh, gamers, uh, robotic engineers, civil engineers, architects of the future, and any other innovative um, aspect of technology that you can imagine. We're gonna take care of your kids. We're going to treat them like they are our own, and they're going to get a first-class education. Um, and that education is going to embody everything you would hope for in an international education. It's going to embody language, it's going to embody exposure to other cultures, and it's going to embody the UN and all of its ideals. Helping people around the world, like um, issues like the Sustainable Development Goals that the UN deals with. Going here, you've been inspired to like help go out and help solve those problems, or just have that understanding and want to do something with it after you leave the school. It stays with you forever. It gives the world a little view of what peace is like.